So how do we define hypotension? There is no clear definition. One of the most commonly used definition is a blood pressure mean less than gestational age. This is the so-called BAPM rule which has been practiced for so many years right from the time I've been training and probably well before that as well. The German neonatal network data suggested that the BAPM rule may overestimate in the extremely low birth weight babies on the first day. So you may not really need that number. And the review of systolic, diastolic and pulse pressure in relation to the mean pressure is important as it will give us clues to the pathophysiology. So you can't look at one number alone. We should train ourselves to look at the systolic pressure, the diastolic pressure and the pulse pressure. So you may have situations where you have a normal mean pressure but the systolic is very low uh, where it is a contractility problem usually and you may have a very wide pulse pressure with a low diastolic pressure where again you may get a clue for the etiology and the approach to their management. So the approach to blood pressure during transition, the suggested approach is basically to look at an evaluation pressure which is the I mean what we said about the BAPM rule gestational age equivalent value on day one. This is where we need to evaluate the child carefully. We have to look at all the parameters we discussed earlier. The trigger pressure where one decides to intervene. So you also go by the other symptomatology, the lactate, the neurology of the baby, whether the baby is responsive. There was a concept of permissive hypotension where the uh, trigger pressure used to be lower. So even if there is a clinical hypotension on the blood pressure level, if the capillary filling is normal, if the urine output is normal, if the lactate is normal, one can decide not to intervene. We still have to form, follow that to some extent, but it's not always safe as the epipage study analysis had shown that the babies where the intervention was active had a better outcome compared to the babies where they allowed permissive hypotension. So it's not clear at, as to which level we should intervene, but you have to be finding the balance because inotropes or other treatments for hypotension are not totally safe either. So it's not a single value alone. It should be considered in the setting of other equally important elements. As I mentioned, the clinical, biochemical or other objective assessment criteria. Uh, the chart which gives us the range of the blood pressure for each age, so the systolic, diastolic and mean according to the gestational age. So uh, this is important uh, for you to have in your unit and to guide you with the management. So uh, you can see the lowest systolic pressure that can be accepted and the lowest mean pressure that can be uh, accepted. So within this range, you work around it. And obviously in the immediate newborn period, your threshold can be different from after the first two days when you have to start moving up the range. Uh, 